So in this video, you learn how to perform an OTG test on your Samsung Galaxy A36. So the first step is to ensure that you have a USB storage device nearby. So as you can see, I have this USB flash drive and I'll need to connect it to my phone in order for me to start performing the test. So because this is a type A flash drive, it means I cannot just directly insert it into my phone. I need an adapter. However, if you do have a type C adapter that you can just insert into your phone, then just go ahead and do so. So again, with the older flash drives, grab your adapter, type C to type A as usual, and then just insert the flash drive into the adapter like that. And then once inserted, connect the adapter to your phone so that the connection should look something like that. From here, in order for you to check if your phone is supports OTG and it's actually detected your USB flash drive or your USB storage device, just swipe down for notifications. And then from here, you should see the option USB storage added, which means that your phone does actually support OTG connections because your phone has been success has successfully registered your USB storage device. So you can tap on this drop down arrow and select open to view the files on it. Or you can open the files app on your device, look for your USB storage device listed under the storage section and tap on it to view any files that you currently have on your USB storage device. You can go a step further by transferring files from your phone to your storage device or from your storage device to your phone. Then when you're ready, you can just eject or unmount your USB flash drive from your phone. And so that's how you can perform an OTG test support on your Samsung Galaxy A36. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.